<laughs> okay, so I wanted to share this. Um, yeah, I, I've I've been integrating a lot of uh, the Genevieve energies, the 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 Eve energies, the Michelle energies. For, for a long time, but uh, <laughs> but but recently, like uh, yes, and so I wanted to share this. Um, right before this, she was talking about right before what I'm about to share. She was talking about ley lines, and I think she was talking with Melissa about um, ley lines and how. Uh, there are certain objects and uh, constructs set up on top of like uh, key points in, in uh, where ley lines meet. And uh, she, I think she read a comment that was like, we need to knock these structures down. And she was like, how? I mean, how are you going to do that? And I've just been noticing a lot lately, like a lot of like uh, cra crazy, crazy synchronicities happening uh, with things that just. <laughs> so this whole process that we're going through here with with uh, the the deconstruction uh, of the fucking system. It's opening things up for a lot of people. It's, it's very, very special times. And yes, um, side note before I get back to this. Uh, yes, uh, this is just the, the first stage of it. Uh, it it's going to get uh, <laughs> to another another layer and then another layer and then uh, and then we're gonna go into uh, the the truth fucking layers that they really start to come out and come into play for everyone to see. And it's gonna it's gonna be so undeniable that uh, you know basically people are gonna be doing what they are doing now, uh, what's falling in line. But this is gonna be on a level of paying homage to source awareness and it's going to be you know the children paying homage to uh, the purity I mean don't take my word for fucking shit that's just how it's going to be but yes uh Something I, I sent Genevieve was that um, within, the, within the email that I sent her was that, you know, um, and this ties into the, uh, the ley lines and uh, destroying the, the, the constructs uh, that are set up there. So, uh, how we translate and transmute this, how we continue to integrate this, is uh, we see it on the layer of awareness and consciousness, and we choose to work with that level instead of uh, being caught up in the manifestations and the denser. Uh, layers or densities of manifestation. So first, first comes the template and, and the idea and the dream. So when that can really be changed, and for, for more people to start to tap into. 
the truth of uh, what they are, their own dream, their own story, not his story or her story, their story, their 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 story that they the the never ending story, right? The the creation, the the constantly and consistently uh, manifest and creates. Once we tap into that awareness, then we realize where the energies are are at are coalescing and in some places uh, are stagnant and coagulating so that we can allow flow there because uh, absolutely with these ley lines that that's the whole point of having these a stagnant uh, pillars and, and objects at these uh, nexus points it is to cause stagnation and for control. So uh, knocking them down is only going to uh, further this uh, narrative of uh, destroy and create, but Destroy and create in, in a manner of uh, you're still working with this, the previous system that you thought you destroyed. So uh, essentially we have to allow these structures to still be there and slowly, gradually uh, allow nature to basically uh, grow their vines around them and just completely transform and transmute them. And that's what that's what we're doing. That's what we've been doing for a while now. So yeah, Melissa, I, I fucking feel you with the ley lines and yeah dude, we're we're doing it. <laughs> uh some, sometimes we need those fucking surges of, of energy because the stagnation gets to be like too much and it, it just uh, it needs an, another surge, an, another level to, to bring it up. So, dude, I definitely vibe with your energy. You and Rosie and, and Lucy, like, and Genevieve, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, she's going to share here uh, something, a scene from... Uh, a movie that y'all y'all need to fucking check out if, if you haven't already, and if you have, just just to be reminded of it. Because I remember seeing this movie for the first time whenever I was in, I believe it was elementary school, and it was like, wow, they make things like this, what? <laughs> And then just continuing to watch it throughout, like, you know, different layers and densities of life. It's like, wah, there's so much, <laughs> there's so much here. Comedy and tragedy and hope and, and love. And, you know, it's all about true love, right? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to quote, quote the scene. You guys remember the Princess Bride? <laughs> remember the Princess Bride? Remember the scene where Wesley has conquered the Spaniard, left him alive, conquered the giant, left him alive, and then he's with the, the dude on the mountain. Buttercup is beside the dude, the bad guy. Buttercup has, you know, the thing over her eyes. She can't see the second that Wesley's there. She can't even tell it's Wesley because he's got a mask, but, like, I won't go there. <laughs> but anyways, and they do the poison where, you know, I forget the name of the poison. Shit. And 
poison gets put into one glass. Why is it what we call Corona? <laughs> and then the dude must choose which glass he takes a sip, that he chooses to take a sip out of, and they both take a sip. Now there's the part, right, where the dude who thinks he's so fucking smart analyzes which fucking glass does this, does this, analyzes the fucking glass. Like I think the scene lasts like what three, four, five minutes. Right. And then he gets Wesley to turn around, he tricks him, switches the glasses, right? Then they both drink. And what happens? The other dude, who thinks he made the right thing, and even cheated, is fucking choice to choke on the poison. And he says, like, I forget exactly, but, <laughs> you know, like, what's going on? I, I, I outwitted you. This can't be happening to me. Hey. I outwitted you. Inconceivable. Like, no, I spent months <laughs> building an intolerance to a tolerance to this this poison. Yes. I could drink it all day; and it wouldn't matter. Oh my Ooh. god! And so this this is just a uh, an awesome reflection and refraction and reminder. Uh, of the importance of cultivation, cultivating an awareness, uh, strengthening your fucking immune system, and uh, getting past the layers of uh, what you've been led to believe is right or wrong necessarily with with health, or uh, what is what is what is even poison. Or, or or could it could that poison be medicine on a certain potency that you can't you know utilize it to to uh, a certain degree you have to respect it the poison is the panacea and it requires respect and a certain level of engagement and knowingness with it so that you know how to integrate it on what amount, what kind of level and degree. It's the same with cultivating any kind of awareness about Whatever kind of density of reality you want to engage in, you can call it training, you can call it uh, working out or working in, but really it's just, it's all engagement and really it's all play and really it's all, it should be all fun and enlivenment. But uh, the little ones will, will uh, remind you of this if you haven't already been reminded enough times. The little ones, with the awareness they're bringing in, will remind you that the structures, uh, the belief programs that you may still be holding on to, they ain't fucking shit in comparison to what's about to come. So, uh... No matter what you're going through right now, it's, it's gonna get really fucking good. <laughs> Eventually, it's gonna get really fucking, uh, seemingly bad at first, but I mean, that's that's the dark night of the soul, right? I mean, enough of us have went through this, that, that we know, you know, the process is happening. So, like, uh, as we are seeing the collective go through this, we're just kind of sitting here, like, <laughs> <laughs> laughing and uh, enjoying the process, but also, like, you know, being there when, where, where and when we can for people that, that are actually waking up because of what's going on. Uh, kind of, kind of gently guiding them to continue 
to go within and realize deeper levels of integration. So yeah, just uh, just a reminder to uh, realize the power of integration, and even if you don't really. Uh, aren't able to conceptualize, you know, everything analytically that's going on outside of you. It, that's not necessarily, it's absolutely not, not the main thing to be able to do. Like, turn, tur switch it, pivot, turn within. And then those things uh, will have a new layer and depth, you know, a, a new le level of clarity. That will happen. So yeah, that's it for that. Um, there's just been so many sinks and links lately. It's been fucking amazing. Just, just with people that I, I wouldn't, you know. Just going into the store or meeting people and then talking and like, what the fuck? Almost every... Actually, it's getting the, to the point lately where words are getting in the way. And it's, it's, an, it's an amazing thing to witness. <laughs> because of the, the sinks uh, that, that are happening with... Uh, where the mentality and the thoughts are going. The connection. It's all about the connection, baby. So yeah, that's it. That's it for this. Uh, I'll give a link to Genevieve's channel. Because she's... Beyond words. Amazing. And uh, also, ch also check out uh, Princess Bride if you haven't seen that movie. I, th I think I'm going to download that movie and watch it again. And that will be the first movie in a, quite a while that I have watched. Because I don't fucking watch movies that much anymore. I don't play video games anymore. Uh, and that's, that's a crazy thing for me to say because I used to play them all the fucking time. Like, I've tried. I, I can't, dude. Like, I've tried. To watch certain movies, like I can't anymore. I, I've I've heard people say because of this quarantine stuff and the sports, uh, like they've tried to watch you know reruns of sports because they were so so it's so ingrained in the people. They're so addicted. They're like they come to me. They're like I've tried. I can't. I'm like oh my god. You don't know how how good that makes me feel <laughs> inside to hear you say that. Because that, that is such a deep level uh, connection, communion that's going on. Uh, and I know they probably don't realize it to to a certain extent. But uh, that's pure fucking magic. So there's fucking magic happening right now. Uh, this is a grace period. Uh, there, there is a lot of things. Okay, <laughs> okay I'll end it with this. Uh, just just a kind of a recap of... Uh, one of my last videos is that there was a lot of things that were supposed to happen, supposed to be synchronized with with this uh, pandemic, this scamdemic happening, uh, and because of that, because there was an alteration, there was an allowance uh, for for quite a few people to wake up. 
And that's not necessarily to say that it stopped everything, because now we're going to be entering into the second stage. And like I mentioned in that video, uh, lock step, you know, we're in lockdown, and that's a step. So the next step is going to be uh, the second wave. But because the first one was so fucked, like, it, it was so fucked to begin with that they, they just... And it's been this way for a while, actually. It's been so obvious that every time, and I've mentioned this before as well, every time they come out with something, it's so obvious. Uh, more people are waking up to just the absurdity of it. So uh, the undoing is happening by itself. Uh, they, they are undoing themselves because because they are rushing it. So yeah, blam, <laughs> right? So yeah, no matter how good or bad or whatever it gets, just, just, huh, that was interesting. Return to uh, homeostasis and the balance. Seek the balance always and, and always. And remember that there's there's always more than meets the eye. And usually you're only witnessing and are able to conceive of the tip of the iceberg. So dive deep. And yeah, it may sound fucking new agey or whatever, but whenever you still your fucking mind. You steal the waters of the thoughts. Then you are able to dive deeper. So cultivate an awareness of diving deeper. Deeper engagement. Deeper level connections. And have that flower power. Help remind you of the purity the clarity that can happen with these connections. Okay, that's it. Keep feeling the real. And doing the damn thing. Love you guys. Peace.